Good uh, price on these? I didn't actually. What are you asking on your bobbleheads? Hey everybody, I'm going to take you along with me to my Sunday morning antique market and we'll see what I find. So you said 59. 59. I, I got a game worn jersey. Oh, okay. Out in California. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Good job. price on these? I didn't actually. What are you asking on your bobbleheads? Uh, 15. 15? And you can slap any name on there you want. Yeah, it's <laughs> generic. Yeah, it looks like Florida, but there's, they did make generic ones. These are like, I think, 70s. Yeah, yeah. 75, I think, they're, right? They're $10 Plastic. each. Yeah. Or a good package deal for all of them. 35 bucks right. for the four. 35 bucks? Uh, I can carry one or two if you can. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. That's cool. Yeah, that there. works. That's a good deal. I'm sure you I have a flyer shirt. Is it inside? I, I didn't know if that was your stuff that far yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know. I don't really follow that. That one over there, that Santana? Yeah. I saw that at the extravaganza. It's very cool, but it's, it wasn't cheap. There's a... Yeah. It's 40. 40. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Keith Mike was in the area and I've been uh, five years up in Northern California. Oh yeah? And he, he said, uh, I'll let him briefly tell you the story. Well, I was, I was at a in yard sale last summer and at the bottom of 55 gallon drum that was full of like older clothes, I dug for 25 cents. A 1959 game-worn uh, Los Angeles Dodgers shirt. Oh, hell, in the it bottom was, uh, of the barrel. So now he's trying to think of who it was. At an event, he ends up getting 12 grand for it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. And I could have gotten more. But oh, I'm sure. That's killer. I, I was happy to get that. <laughs> so for a quarter to 15 grand. 59. Bought some land with it, so. Oh, oh there you go. That's a nice yeah. investment. Can I steal a piece of this for this oh, guy? Absolutely. Okay. I figured that would have mine, but I don't want to. Whatever you need. Thank you. Yes, with Kim Nella, Newcom, Perillo, no. Duke, Duke Schneider. Have a good morning. Hey. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Those are all. Are you in the car? I'm going to walk through. Yeah, you in the car? I, mean, I don't want you to do anything for this morning. Anything for this former hand. Yeah, yeah, it's nasty. Hey. Good morning, how's it going? Hey, <laughs> This jacket is pretty cool. Wait, what's it say? Pretty well glued down. I can go back in the corner and okay. see north. If yeah. you bought them all, they'd be six each. There's no sports, so. though. Six dollars each? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. Thank you.
So if I didn't have interest in the whole group, okay. which I know these aren't going to be six apiece, right. not buying them all. Right. But there's 11 there if you need a thought on that group. 11, you said? I think, double check me, I think it's 11. Okay. There is one sports one on the bottom, there's a Royals. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we're, it's so, a little under, put 150. Okay. Yeah, it's like 13, 60 Yeah, it works. Okay, I gotta show you, I, I did pull out uh, like five or six over there. Yeah. You don't have the 10 on you, but you I might. Let me check. No, unless I have it in my okay. other. You got it? Yeah, I'll, I'll oh. find it in my other. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You. Yeah, for to look at. Yeah, it's really well. Oh, oh, my shit. Oh, my shit. So later on in the morning, the dealer who I bought that first group of pennants from did bring in more to show me. I had already taken my GoPro off, so I filmed looking at these and buying these with my phone. So the quality is not as good, but here you go. For a heating bill? It's a Princeton guy. Don't be 10. Yeah. So you're at 100 on that. Yeah. What do you want in the Woodstock and then the New Mexico? Just curiosity. Um, no, that's not what. Yeah. It's a pin back, right? Yeah. yeah. 75 for the pair. 75 for the pair? Yeah. So 175? The athletic. Yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah. 175, right? Yeah. Let me get you five. Okay, thank you. So I can do that. All right, so here's my pickup from the morning at the flea market. So bought a group of four bobbleheads. They were $35 total. This one's from the late 60s, like 67 to 70 about. This is a generic one, though. They made these for NFL teams and colleges, but they did make some that were just no teams and people could make them into their high schools. It's University of Florida colors, but again, generic one. These two are from the 1970s. Chargers, Cardinals, and then a like a Hong Kong plastic New York Jets made to look like a 60s nodder. So they were $35 for that group. Then bought a group of, I think, 14 pennants. Uh, Sewn letter, Atlantic City. Oakland, California. Just great color on that one. Statue of Liberty. Baltimore, Maryland. Mount St. Mary's College. The flock felt raised, le uh, raised velvet style lettering. Vallejo, California. This is a cool one. Battle of Bunker Hill. Just great graphics on that one. Wichita, Kansas. Pennsylvania Farm Show. Good color on that one too. Another Statue of Liberty. And then a 1980 Royals. It was $150 for that group. I think it was about $14 a piece. And they should do pretty well. Uh, and then later on, after I had taken my GoPro off, I went back to that same dealer. And he had pulled out some pennants from the group that I bought before I saw them that he was going to keep and sell himself. But I looked through them and I did end up buying three. It was 175 for this group of three. Now this first one, when you see pennants that are reversed like this, Woodstock, those pennants were made to actually hang on the back of automobiles. So when the car was driving, these would hang behind it or fly behind it and you could read them as the car was going down the road. So that one's pretty cool early one, probably 1910s, Woodstock, New York. New York, I'm sorry, New Mexico sewn letter pennant, a great leather patch, like a teepee and a Native American graphic there. And then this is the best one in the group. So this is an early, probably say 1920s, uh, Alaskan dog sledding pennant, uh, probably a get a ride or, or a similar dog race, but just great graphics. And you don't see those, those kind of pens too often. So it was 175 for that group of three. This pen is definitely the best of that group. And then lastly, I picked up these two postcards also not on camera, but they're 1916 Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Not, not mailed. But this one, it does have some notation on back. M playing ball every day, best regard, Pete. That one's a cool action scene there. And I got to study the team a little closer. It looks like it has M on their jerseys, but it was $75 for that pair. But the dealer does hold stuff for me, so I do I do buy from him when he when he brings stuff in for me. 
But anyway, hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe.